What's up, guys? I'm Jake. I'm John. And this is Half Lit. Well, uh, getting closer and closer to Christmas. Super excited. So, I prepared for us today some really nice Mr. Uh, Boston eggnog. Benchmark eggnog. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? We're doing two eggnogs? Well, this one's whiskey, so. This one's also whiskey. <sighs> okay. Well, <clears throat> I guess we get a comparison today, guys. There's, there's three that I found, which is Mr. Boston, Benchmark, and then Evan Williams. But Evan Williams uses milk. Ah. And I can't have milk. But that's okay, because we have two other options, which hopefully won't upset John. Hopefully, they don't say anything about dairy on them, so. So Mr. Boston is a creamy eggnog made with blended whiskey. It's 15% ABV, it's 30 proof, produced by Mr. Boston Distillery in Owensboro, Kentucky. This benchmark, produced by Buffalo Trace Distillery, Ooh. Frank Fort, Kentucky. So we got two Kentuckys, because this is Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Well, I think this just says it's blended with whiskey, so this is like the, uh, the Oh, Walmart. this is eggnog with Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. This was, uh, this is the Walmart version of that one, probably. Probably. Again, 15%, 30 proof. So, I guess we should, uh, one at a time? What do we, yeah, we'll what do we do? Time. Well, let's go with the cheap guy. All right. Or possibly cheap, I don't know. Could be delicious. Could be... It's glass though, right? Evan Williams comes in plastic. All right, let's see the legs on this eggnog. Zero eggnog legs, they are just creamy. Yeah, it's just creamy. Milk. Yeah. Yeah. That smells like freaking eggnog. I'm just excited. Smell like eggnog. Yeah. I don't really smell much. I mean, there is whiskey, but. Barely. But barely. Cheers. Go for Cheers, sure. yeah. Ooh, oh. that's got a kick. Mm -hmm. That's definitely cheap whiskey, but the eggnog helps it. You know, I like this more than I like, I like non boozed up eggnog. You yeah. Know? Like I, this I think the different. kick to it is um, what helps. It like enhances the flavor. <laughs> so much saliva. <laughs> so much <laughs> string so, into that. So <laughs> gross. Okay, <laughs> please don't zoom in on that. Just delete it. Cut it. Mm. It'd be rough to do shots of. Mm -hmm. It's very spicy. It's very spicy. Um, it's definitely tasty though. And now, I'm glad that you bought Good another one. Creamy. Yeah. I'm glad that we're doing two because then we can compare them. Yeah, because we've never had this before. Yeah. So. Cause I, actually, I don't think I've ever had a spiked egg on. No, I've neither have I. No. I've never had whiskey and eggnog. I've never bought one of these. So this is like an all new experience besides actual drinking eggnog. Yeah, well like as soon as I was legally able to drink, everyone else that was legally able to drink stopped because they started having kids. Wow. Taste. Mmm. Well taste wise, I, right off the bat, gut feeling, I'm going to give it like a six. Okay, so our, our initial one is probably, I'm, I'm going to give it a six and a half. I like it. Yeah. Not bad. Oh, sorry. All right, guys. Let's go for the benchmark. <laughs> okay. Schmel. Less eggnoggy. From yeah, definitely more whiskey. Yeah. Oh, that's like, a lot more whiskey. Yeah, really straight bourbon. <laughs> mm. oh. You can smell the spiciness. You know what? I don't think I shaked it enough. Mm. Well, oh well. I'm not going back now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cheers. No, that's better. Way less thicker. kick. Yeah. In less kick. Yeah. Real thick. Okay. One, actually, okay. So what were you gonna say? Um. Yeah. It's just creamier. Oh yeah. So and creamy. smoother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can really smell the whiskey, but it's only barely there. Yeah, I like it's it. Very subtle. But there's not very much eggnog flavor either. Yeah, it's that's very the thing dull. Too. It's it's weird. Yeah. I was not expecting it's so weird because this one is like, it's, you know, it tastes like eggnog. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so the Mr. Boston one's very eggnog. Yeah, very eggnog, but a lot of spice to it. Yeah. 
But then this one is just a lot smoother. I think, honestly, it might just be better to get Benchmark and pour it in your own homemade eggnog. Yeah, I mean... Because, like, this is, this is good. It's good. I like the thickness. I like the creamy. I like that there's not so much kick. But I don't like that there's, like, a lack of flavor overall. Yeah. That's also true. But then I don't like how much kick there is in that, but I love the flavor, and mm -hmm. it's a lot thinner. Yeah. So it's like, it's weird, because, like, this is... It's like the, Both of them have their pros and cons, yeah. you know? Like, not one's really better than the other, I can say. Maybe we gotta mix them. Ooh, okay, I got straight whiskey out of that one. That's weird. Maybe when you get down to the bottom. Should we do that? Half and half? Yeah, let me just shake this bad boy. Because we're not going to do shots of these. Because I don't think anybody really takes shots of eggnog. No, you just drank it. Uh, but we're going to make some together for you guys. Yeah. It's Christmas time. Because when one is lacking from the other, the best thing to do is to mix. Yeah. You try and get the you best get of both worlds. And then we'll tell you if you need to just buy both every time you get this stuff. Yeah. Is. Milk. Milk. <laughs> Milkshake. That brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Okay. That kind of seems to be perfect. We did not score the benchmark first. I'm going to give oh, it yeah. a five and a half. Yeah, five. I'll probably give it a five and a half too. Yeah. So I think. I think our favorite right now is just Mr. Boston. I think it's just a little bit better than the Benchmark, yeah. but mixed together. It's perfect. I'd give it an eight. You get the creaminess, mm -hmm. the thickness. Thicker. You get the eggnog flavor. Yeah. And you get the nice little hint of whiskey. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, the little kick mm -hmm. to it. But also, you not still get the scent. Yeah, and not too spicy. The whiskey, yeah. Yeah, I think you do gotta mix them, or I'm gonna go with the best bet is to make eggnog at home, own personal flavor and spices, and then just add whiskey. Yeah. But, uh, good. Or yeah. if you have your favorite store brand, then just buy your favorite whiskey. Yeah. Get your Top Shop whiskey. I mean, if you're a person that likes Woodford Reserve, then like, get that stuff. Well, guys, I think that will conclude it. Yeah. Mr. Boston, which I called the Walmart version. Yeah, I know. Better than the benchmark. And a bit better than the benchmark. Yeah, in a few ways. Because flavor is really important when it's it comes really to eggnog. Important. Especially when you when it's called eggnog. Yeah, you want, you to want the eggnog. Like eggnog. You want eggnog and then whiskey. Just a, yeah, just a touch of whiskey. Oh, you don't even want the whiskey. Honestly, what you want is eggnog, but with alcohol on it, so it gets you drunk. Yeah. Anyways, um, buy our merch at Redbubble. Half lit. Obviously, right here. Yes. Half lit dash reviews on Redbubble, and you can buy our merch. Also, follow us on Instagram and TikTok, both of which half lit underscore reviews. That's a bot. And also, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Oh, hell yeah. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. We post every week. Every single week. And if you really, really, really enjoy it, hit the little bell at the top there. Get uh, notifications yeah, for that, when our videos post. I'll let you know as soon as it's posted. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Oh, also, oh, quick one note. More thing. Quick note. Quick note. We have a Christmas special. Now. Oh, yes. So, if you made it to this point of the video, make sure you're tuned in for next week's video, or, uh, yeah, next week's video. Next week, it's yeah. 12 days. 12 days of something. You'll find out. Oh, something. Special Christmas episode. Special Christmas episode. We'll be wearing nothing but Santa hats. Yep, covering our jingle bells. No, they can't see our jingle bells. We got desks. Oh, yeah. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.